Hello and welcome to this short video on how to define dynamic actions with an Oracle Apex. So I have this simple little application where I have tasks and I have a report and a form page. So at the moment I've got a select list on my different statuses and as you will see I've got a cost and budget field. What I'd like to do is I'd like to improve this application so that it can only maintain the cost if the status is equal to open. So let's go back into our development environment here and all I'm going to do is right click on my status item here and create what's called a dynamic action. So within the dynamic action I'm going to name it and then down here you will see when this is going to fire so whenever the status changes and I'd like to enhance that so that it will only fire when the status is equal to open. So that will take care of when it fires. Now I need to actually go and define the action. So the action that I want to perform is to enable and I've got various choices as to what I want it to act upon. I'm going to leave that as item and then I'm going to just select the cost item. So this is taking care of enabling the cost item whenever the status is equal to open. However, we also need to disable it. So I'm just going to right click on enable there and create the opposite action which is going to be the disable. So now I can save this page, navigate back to my runtime environment, refresh and then if I go and edit a record again you'll notice at the moment the cost is disabled because of the fact the status is closed. If I change it to open I can update the cost again and as soon as I change it to any other value then once again this item is disabled. So this is a very simple little example of defining client-side interactivity without having to write copious amounts of JavaScript. So thank you very much for watching this Oracle Apex video.